Salam people, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am in the middle of nowhere. Like literally we've driven about four hours from Dubai. Come to this area called Dafra and we're going to be checking out some farms over here. So it's going to be pretty cool. The guys are there. Four hours. Yes, four hours of driving and just look at that. Look at that back, man. That looks amazing. A road between greenery and we've got dunes in between. This looks so amazing. I'm not in my 4x4 unfortunately, but if I was here, I'm sure I would have been tempted to go on some of these dunes. But yeah, this is going to be quite an interesting day. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so the thing is that Mustafa here is an ex-rally driver. So I'm worried he's getting too excited with these roads. Mustafa. So we are off-roading. Okay, so now this is a road that we have to take. There is no other way. And there's no other way and this is how it looks. Yeah, there's a road here. There's a road. No, 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 you can't go there. I can't, I can't. No, bro. No, 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 bro. No, you can't. Okay, hold on. Okay, and it looks like we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. It's okay. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay, it's okay. Ah. And we are stuck. Are you stuck? Yeah, we're kind of stuck. Let's push. Uh, lift, not push. Okay. You need to lift. Yeah, lift. Okay. So this is like completely against all norms of off-roading but you gotta do this to take this car out yeah no choice slowly that's it bus 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 coffee 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 stop 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 so now we are with Shabai Shabai is taking us through this much more easier path and we got Mustafa right there Who's become red like a tomato? I'm relaxing now. <laughs> <laughs> He's relaxing now. Oh, yeah. It looked like he was like, whoa. You no, saw no. I have video proof, bro. <laughs> I have video proof looking at you going all crazy with your car. Yeah, the person who is driving from <laughs> like like for a for a four hour like that. So yeah. Should be like this. He should be like this, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Now I'm being driven. <laughs> now you're being driven. <laughs> On a better road than we could have taken. So this is insane. I can see banana plants right here. It's too noisy, but this is how they keep it pretty cool out here. And look at that, man. I feel like I'm in India right now. It's amazing. It's just, I, I, I have no words. Assalamu alaikum. Maakum Muhammad Saif Abdullah Zahal Falahi. Mantaqat Al-Dawahir, Mizra'a Raqam 25. Haliyan, we are in Mizra'at Al-Hudarabunik, Al-Khiyar, Al-Nadam Al-Ray Al-Hadith. فكذا عندنا تقريبا من اصناف التين تقريبا ما يقارب 64 نوع من انواع التين من اهمهن وانتاج غزير البراون التركي الامريكي يعطي يعني ما بين سنه ما يقارب طن ونص الى طنين فنحن وصلنا للتين الى تقريبا حوالي 1700 شتله الحمد لله الشتل كله حامل كله منتج الأصناف منها البراون تركي أمريكي الأسباني الأخضر الأسباني الأصفر الوزيري تين جاسم هاي طبعا كلها سعودية وإنتاجها غزير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All of this happening in UAE in Abu Dhabi actually outside Abu Dhabi because we're in Dafra and it's like super far from Dubai and Sharjah like almost four hours right let's look at that let's look at that people are chilling here man it's crazy look at the the amount of fruits, they've got passion fruit here, they've got banana, uh, they've got so many different kinds of fruits that you can't even imagine that's been growing in this part of the world. So, not even actually weather friendly to this part of the world, but they're just doing it. They're doing an amazing job. We're gonna go and see exactly what we have at this farm. This is called Anjir. So you can see this here. This is, look how juicy that is. Just look at that. You don't need to do much. It's just so juicy. Trying out this anjir, also known as fig. Let's see. 
amazing. This is yeah. so good. Look at that. Salmon are eight varieties. Yeah. From which country? You can actually taste the freshness and this freshness. I think these are right. Ah, we did ask. Go try the green ones now. Actually, we bring some cuttings. We bring sometimes one plant ah. and one. This is the green one. We produce eight sections. So good. So good. Mm. I feel like I'm addicted to eating this now. This is the passion fruit. Look at that there. That's apple. Look at how apple looks. Actually, that's an apple flower. Yeah. Apple fruit. Apple fruit? Oh, it'll grow big. Wow. That is amazing. These are papayas. Fresh papayas growing right here in the desert with that kind of sand and just nets to cover it to make sure that there's no dust coming in and uh, they're really not bothered about the insects because they got a few insecticides just to make sure that the plants are safe to grow in this environment you have cherries huh there's kiwis growing here man yeah. kiwis the amount of fruits i've just seen is insane i mean dafra if i have to give you some tips about dafra dafra by itself has about 4000 plus farms in this area alone so a lot of people growing a lot of stuff but this particular farm is fruits loads and loads of fruits from all across the world growing right here in the sand pit look at that this is mango that's how mango looks at blooming stage what is this pomegranate oh look at that they have the coolest uh, flowers that's so cool man look at the flower yeah, yeah the flower yeah. looks amazing yeah they have the coolest flowers i haven't seen anything of this sort ever in my life ever oh dragon fruit look at those leaves lush green yeah but they also have spikes on them so you got to be careful mango oh wow look at that that's blooming that's the mango right there here oh yes beautiful and that like you've seen in the other farms as well that's what happens you've got the water going in there that's a radiator and then you've got fans right there at the end which basically sucks that water and mills a really good environment for the plants to live in one of my most favorite favorite fruit and this is one of the top specialties of this particular farm growing different kinds of fig just look at that this is brown turkey it's a different kind look at that man this is pineapple right there in the ground i always thought it grew on trees but now i know on the actual reality that's where it grows so this is how they've been growing it man it's just amazing look at the amount of figs they have in there and this is actually sold at a really high price out here because first the amount of effort that goes into this oh i could just stand next to this so cold because that fan is just trying to pull out the the you know the humidity and the cold breeze from this this particular radiator but you can stand next to this i was sweating crazy because it's really hot must be about 38 40 degrees out there but this place feels like as if it's like 16 20 probably it's really good and that's basically all humidity and they're building plants from here cutting from there putting them here so this is what you call a nursery and like aquascaping they build the whole thing on humidity so you can see the water dripping from there close it airtight and just perfect you can always see fruits right over there so much of full-on fruits yeah look at these guys these are oranges small oranges okay so this is where the hydroponic system is of this farm where he grows cucumbers and loads and loads of cucumbers check that out all that fresh this is what you call organic no hydroponics oh uh, no but is it hydronic cucumbers hydroponics cucumber no as in in the sense of organic being inorganic organic environment in protected environment protected environment yeah. perfect 
So this is how amazing this farm is. A lot of noise, of course, because you got a lot of stuff going on. You got the farmers right there. You got people from Adassa. The guys at Adassa are really responsible. These engineers make sure that the farmers are growing stuff well. They're mentoring them, giving them tips, helping them build these facilities, and also helping them with all that is required to make sure that they have fresh and healthy crop growing here. What I love most about this is that every farmer that I've met so far are very happy and very positive. Apparently they say, and I heard this in one of the farms, that when farmers go through soil, put their hands through soil, there's apparently some kind of, uh, some kind of a hormone that gets released that makes them happy. And irrespective of whether farmers across the world, rich, poor, whatever, you know, they are always happy and always willing to share. So this is something that I've learned from these farms and I really love them. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to be heading to another farm. Let's see how it goes there, but that you'll see in the next vlog. Till then, it's time vlog sign off. Cheerio.